Come on, give him praise and glory this morning. We put our trust in you today, Lord God. Come on, shout that with me, amen. There's nothing too hard for him. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Glory to God. He's more than able. More than able. All things are possible. To them that believe. Thank you, Lord. We believe this morning that we receive everything that God has for us. Praise God. We believe the word. Come on, wait on him this morning. Serve him. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait. Hallelujah. Amen. Remain steadfast, unmovable, ever abounding in the works of the Lord. Wait upon him. Go with it, God. I will trust. I will trust. Yes, Lord. I will trust. I will trust. We trust you, God. I will trust. I will trust. Yes, we will. I will trust, I will trust. I will trust, I will trust. I will trust, I will trust. I will trust. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. And He shall direct your paths today. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a clap and a shout in the sanctuary today. Right there at home, begin to lift your hands and give God praise. Begin to thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him for His mercy. Thank Him for all the blessings He's bestowed upon you. Hallelujah. Release an attitude of gratitude. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Glory to God. You woke us up this morning. Glory to God. You started us on our way, Lord. And we're happy about it this morning. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I will trust in you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I said, blessed be the name of the Lord. I will trust in you. I will wait on you. I will continue to magnify you. I will continue to praise you and bless you. At all times, your praise shall continue to be in my mouth today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Amen. What a blessing it is to be in the house of the Lord. The Bible said we're not to fail to assemble ourselves together and even the more as we see the day approaching. Amen. Amen. So good to see, amen, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. You all that are watching on Facebook Live, praise God. Please share this this morning. Go ahead, amen. Get your family around for the Word of God today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, and we're going to be glad in it. Praise God. You know, this morning, we was uh, it was sort of a heaven. Is the Lord put in our, in our spirit, amen, co-pastor spirit, there was a spirit of depression and oppression uh you know that was that was kind of trying to take hold of people today amen but we break that and we bind that in the name of jesus we come against that spirit of heaven is right now spirit of heaven is you must go in jesus name hopelessness you must go in jesus name depression you must go in jesus name amen we speak life over you amen release the oil of gladness the garment of praise. We release that over this house. We release that over your house. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. God is at work. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I feel good. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, wave at somebody this morning. Glory to God. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. He's good today. We greet you with the love of God right there at home this morning. Thank you for tuning in today. Amen. We're so glad you're here, ZCC Church family. God bless you. Facebook family, thank you guys for tuning in. God is good today. Amen. He's good today. Come on, before you sit down, let's give him another clap and a shout this morning. God is good. He's so good.
good today? He is so good today. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord this morning. Thank you, praise team. God bless you. I'll tell you what, we're going to come back. How about that at the end? Y'all can y'all do that song at the end? This song, we're going to do that song at the end, okay? So we'll do that at the end this morning. Glory to God. I like that song. God is able. I want you to know God is able. He's not just able. He's more than able, is he? He's more than able today. Thank you, Lord God. He is more than able today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We serve a God who cannot fail. We serve a God who cannot fail. Amen. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man, that he should repent. Amen. Haven't he not spoken and will it not come to pass? Amen. Will it not come to pass? That's right, preacher. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We love the Lord today. Amen. Guys, be encouraged. Amen. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. God is not through blessing you. Hallelujah. I said God is not through blessing you. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy today. As a matter of fact, I believe our best days are ahead. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Glory to God. Father, we love you today. We thank you. Thank you for this time, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for blessing us today, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you that your word comes forth to heal, to set free, and deliver, Lord. Thank you for doing it today. It never goes out, Lord, but it always accomplishes what you sent it forth to do, Lord God. And it shall prosper in the thing we're into you sent it today. We receive it in Jesus' name, and we bind the enemy that would come to try to steal the word of God out of our hearts today. Thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I want to begin today, praise God. I want to talk to you just a moment about the blessings of Abraham. And of course, today we're going to be talking to you about the burden of truth. We've been talking about the burden, the, the blessing, and the battle. The burden, the blessing, and the battle. And we're going to talk to you about the burden of truth today, all right? That's what we're going to talk about. That's the name of, uh, of, of the message we're going to talk to you about today, praise God. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you about this blessing of Abraham. Amen. Because I just want to remind you that uh, regardless of what's happening in the economy, uh, regardless of what's going on in the stock market and uh, regardless of what the, you know, the job numbers and things look like, you still have a God. Amen. You still have a God. Amen. That defy every statistic. Okay. Amen. So don't get yourself locked into that stuff. Amen. So you, 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 you're not locked into that. You're not locked into this natural world. Amen. We serve a supernatural God. Amen. And he has a supernatural plan for you. Glory to God. Uh, you're a spirit man, and God's got higher things for you and me. See, God can bless you in a famine. Praise God. Amen. He, he can bless you. Amen. He'll make way, He'll give you rivers in the desert if you'll believe him. Praise God. And so, listen, I want you to know you're walking in the blessings of Abraham this morning, okay? You're walking in the blessing of Abraham. And you might say, well, what is the blessing of of Abraham. Oh, thank you, musician. Don't y'all go too far, praise God. And y'all crack open y'all Bibles too, amen. I'm the, I don't think musicians have Bibles. Do, do, do they have Bibles? Amen, praise God. We're going to get them one, amen. But the Bible says in Galatians 3 and 13 that Christ, Jesus, has redeemed us, you and me, from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, cursed everyone who hangs on a tree. Listen at this, verse 14 says, that the blessing of Abraham, all right, that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, that be me and you, praise God, in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So the Bible says, amen, curses everyone who hangs on a tree, amen, and that was Jesus. Jesus bore the curse. Jesus bore the curse. You said, what was the curse? Well, part of it was, was poverty, sickness, and disease and lack, you see. Uh, I, I was part of the curse, you see. Praise God. Read Deuteronomy 28. It tells you about all these different things, uh, amen, that relates to the curse. So you said, well, uh, well, uh, well, poverty is a curse? Well, according to the Bible, amen, according to the Bible, you see, because God wants his people 
to have not just enough, but more than enough. But you got to have a mission. You got to have a mandate. You got to have a call. You got to have a vision, amen, for something for God to pour into your life. You see, he, 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 listen, he's the God of more than enough this morning. Praise God. But he said, listen, that curse has been broken off of me and you. And the blessings of Abraham have come upon us. And you say, well, that's Old Testament. Well, it didn't matter to Jesus. Amen. He's the father of faith. And Jesus said, those blessings of Abraham have come upon you and me. What is the blessing of Abraham? Genesis 12, 1 through 3. He told Abraham, get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house. Praise God. Amen. That's the word of God for some of you. Amen. You need to get out and your family. Praise God. <laughs> now, I mean, not, you know what I mean. But anyway, to, to a land, he said, that I will show you. Okay. He said, I'm going to take you to an unfamiliar place. He said, and I will make you a great nation, he told Abraham. He said, I will bless you. I will make your name great. And he said, you will be a blessing. He said, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. That was God's plan. He wanted all the families of the earth to be blessed. And it's still his plan. Praise God. Do you see that? So when, you, when somebody asks you, well, how are you doing today? When you say, I'm blessed, you're saying, listen, all is well in my body. All is well in my soul. All is well in my spirit. All is well with my finances. All is well with my family. Amen. I'm full of joy. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. I'm on my way to heaven. Amen. And I'm blessed to be a blessing. Amen. I have more than you say I'm blessed. Why? Because the blessings of Abraham have come upon you. Thank you, Lord God. And the Bible lets us know in Genesis 14, amen, that that's what happened there. After, after uh, uh, Abraham went into Sodom, amen, with, with his armed men and took back uh, everything, amen, that belonged to him. Melchizedek came, and the Bible says, amen, he told, he told Abraham, Blessed be God most high who has delivered your enemies into your hands. Let me say that again. Praise God. Amen. I thank you for them two amens. I said Abraham was a tither. And people say, oh, you know, that tithing stuff is under the law. Well, this was way before. This was hundreds of years before the law. We had to go through Abraham. We had to go through Isaac. We had to go through Jacob. We had to get over into Joseph, all down in Egypt, and all that before Moses showed up. Amen. With the law. So see, Abraham understood this principle, amen, that the first tenth belonged to God. And God said, if you'll honor me with the first fruit of all of your increase, amen. He said, man, I'll cause your bonds to overflow. I'll cause, amen, your bonds to be filled, your vats to overflow. Glory to God. And this is what he said in Hebrews 6 and 13. He said, for when God made promise to Abraham, so when he was promising Abraham, he was also promising you and me. When God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, surely blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply you. God said, I want to bless you so much. I want to bless you so much. When he could find nobody else to swear by, the Bible said he swore by himself. Let me break that down into person county language. He said, Abraham, I swear I'm going to bless you. Hallelujah. Minister McNeil, he said, I swear I'm going to bless you. Glory to God. Amen. We got an angel over here on my left. He said, I swear I'm going to bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The cruises, he said, I swear I'm going to bless you. Amen. That receive it. That's what you do. Amen. That's how you walk in it. You receive what God has said. Amen. You say, well, I ain't in no position for that right now. Well, get in position. Glory to God. Amen. Get in position. He said, I swear I'm going to bless you. And that promise is still alive and well. Amen. God wants to bless his people. That's you and me. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive that today. This is not just about prospering you. Amen. Just so you can, amen, pip your crib and all that. God want to bless you to be a blessing. That all families of the earth. 
may be blessed. That you can bless your neighbors, amen. You can bless your family. You can be a blessing to your friends. Hallelujah. God said, I'll bless you. Father, we thank you for that today. And those that are watching by Facebook, Lord God, I pray for every tither, every giver, Lord, everyone that have, amen, been faithful unto you, Lord God. We bring this promise back to their remembrance, Lord. And we thank you for your covenant, not only with Abraham, but it was also a covenant with us. And Father, we receive it today that those blessings is upon our lives. The curse has been broken. And every need that we have is abundantly supplied. In Jesus' name, can you say amen again? Amen. Hallelujah. Well, thank God for it this morning. Amen. amen. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. He is worthy to be praised today. Thank you, Father. Amen. Well, you guys that are giving uh, at home, amen, praise God. You can do that on the GiveLify, uh, the, the Facebook, I mean, <laughs> Facebook. go to our website and all those different ways, amen, where you can give this morning. I just want to say thank you once again for being faithful, amen, to God and to the ministry, amen. Thank you for standing in faith, amen. It's when the pressure's on, amen, it, 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 when it reveals what's in us comes out of us. We like sponges, isn't that right? Amen. You know what happens when you put pressure on a sponge? Whatever is in it is coming out. And sometimes, you know what God does? Amen. He put a little pressure on you and me to see what we made out of. See, see what's on the inside. Glory to God. Make sure that the word is in our heart. Praise God that, that we're not just doing things based on circumstances. And then when things get a little tight, amen, we put God on the shelf somewhere. Praise God. You know, we don't, we don't pick up this American Jesus that... Uh, that many folks got, amen, that's the Jesus that allow you to do about anything, amen. They serving Jesus is just the wrong Jesus, amen. So, 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 so we, got to, we got to make sure we get the, we're serving the right Jesus, okay, the, the Bible Jesus, glory to God. Saints, we're in, uh, we're in Nehemiah chapter 2. If you'd get your Bibles this morning, come on, hold them up this morning. Let's make our confession. This is my Bible. It is the Word of God. I am who it says I am. I can have what it says I can have. And I can do what it says I can do. Tell your neighbor, I'm blessed. I'm anointed. I'm healed. I'm victorious. I'm free. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm above only and not beneath. I am the head and not the tail. I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and fire baptized. And if you hang around me long enough, you're going to find out I am armed. And I am dangerous with the word of God. Can you say amen? amen? Praise God. Well, let's go to Nehemiah chapter 2 today. Amen. We're confessing these promises over our lives. Nehemiah, encourage us to return, to rebuild, to repent, and to remember. To return, to rebuild, to repent, and to remember. We've been talking about broken down walls and burned out gates. That's what Nehemiah began to pray. He said, Lord, the walls of Jerusalem are broken down and the gates have been burned with fire. But the more Nehemiah prayed and the more he sought God, God began to reveal to Nehemiah that those are the outward symptoms. Nehemiah, you're looking at the fruit of the problem, not the root of the problem. He said, that's not the real problem, Nehemiah. And the more Nehemiah prayed and sought God, he realized that the true problem was we have broke covenant with God. We broke covenant with God. It's got nothing to do with those evil people over there. It's, it's got nothing to do with Sam Ballard and, and, and Tobiah and Gershom and all of these people that, that hate God's people and all of these rebels. He said, it's, it's, it's really got nothing to do with them. He said, the real issue is we broke covenant with God. Amen. And just like that blessing and cursing I just read to you, praise God. You see, the blessing is only good as you remain in obedience to him. Amen. See, it's on condition. God's promises are on condition. This is why he said in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, that if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. 
He said, then I will hear from heaven. Go over to God. I'll forgive their sins. And he said, I will heal the land. Praise God. He said, return to me and I'll return to you. Call unto me, Jeremiah 33 and 3, and I will answer you. And he said, I'll show you great and mighty things you know not of. He said, Jeremiah, I'll show you things that can, I'll give you divine revelation into things. Once again, like Nehemiah, you'll think that's the problem. But when you call unto me, I'll show you the real problem. I'll give you revelation into the real problem. Why, what it is, is what it is. What it is, what it was, what it's going to be. Praise God. Amen. Some of y'all don't know what that is. Glory to God. Amen. Y'all that back, that back. don't know nothing about that. Praise God. Amen. Peace, brother. So anyway, anyway, <laughs> back then, man, the ladies, I asked you, used to be higher than y'all. That heels was higher than y'all's back then. But um, amen, God is good. God is good. So he learned a spiritual lesson now. Amen. And so what Nehemiah learned there was the first thing was, listen, amen, that the first, listen, the first response was to pray. Prayer is the first step toward any spiritual accomplishment. It's the first step. The Bible says, if any sick among you, let them pray. John Wesley once said, God does nothing on earth except an answer to believing prayer. You got to invite him in. And Nehemiah prayed in chapter 2, praise God, this dynamic intercessory prayer. Amen. First, he, it's a prayer that's properly directed. You got to direct it in the right way. Secondly, it's prayer that's intense. The fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man, the Bible says, it avails much. Thirdly, it's a, it's a prayer that identifies with the people and the problem. The people and the problem. And the problem. Fourthly, it is a prayer that is a confession of sin. The Bible says we'll confess our faults and confess our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us. Fifthly, it's a prayer that is insistent, calling for God to remember his covenant. Amen. And this was near my prayer in chapter one. Amen. He, he call upon God to remember his covenant. God says, put me in remembrance of my word. Number six, it's a prayer that has right intentions to bring glory to God's name. To bring glory to God's name. And lastly, it is a prayer that has a petition asking God to respond to our call. Amen. Respond to our call. As Nehemiah prayed, he wept. And he fasted and he sat before God. He got clarity on what the problem was. Then he made his petitions unto God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I tell you, that's a good word right there, saints of God. If we, but you got to do it. Amen. You got to do it. And God will do it for you. He'll do it through you. He'll do it through you. And so here we see the burden, the battle. Amen. The burden, the blessing, and the battle. Nehemiah chapter 2. This was four months. This was four months that Nehemiah was seeking God. And in the midst of that four months, he was still serving the king. He was still serving the king. In the midst of this burden that was on his heart, he was still serving the king. In the midst of all that was going on amongst his people, the gates being burned down, I mean the gates broken down, the walls being burned with fire, he was still serving the king. In the midst, amen, of the children being lost and, and out in the streets, he was still serving the king. In the midst of bills being due, amen, and, uh, and, and, and getting pink slips and laid off and, and not knowing what's going to happen on tomorrow, he was still serving the king. And my point is today, guys, you got to be serving the king when troubles show up. You can't wait to trouble some time. You can't wait to hardship. You can't wait, amen, to the, to, to the trials and tests of life. Hit your house and hit your family and then start serving the king. You got to serve him now. So when the trouble comes, you can say many of the afflictions of the righteous, but God shall deliver us out of them all. I'm coming out. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. So he was serving the king. And he did this for four months. 
It was four months from that time. Amen. The point is, it takes time to get in that right place for God to come and bring the solution to the problem. It's okay. You know, we live in a microwave age. We live in a drive through age. Praise God. We want everything. Not, we don't want it today. We want it yesterday. Hallelujah. We don't want to wait for nothing. We want our food fast. We, I mean, nothing. But we want fast cars. We want fast. Uh, you know, it's just fast. And you know, everything fast and stuff like that. Amen. Glory to God. But tell you later, you got to slow it down when it comes to God. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes we want God to do all this stuff quick and in a hurry. But then when he speaks to us, uh, let me pray about that, Pastor. <laughs> you know, that's, that's a Christian code word for, <laughs> let me pray about that. I don't feel led. <laughs> I'm sure Jesus didn't feel led to go to that cross. Thank you, Father. Hey, guys, so listen, so, so what happened was four months. So sometimes it takes time to get to the root of the problem. You see that? How I many remember Daniel 11, amen, when Daniel began to pray? And he began to cry out to God. The Bible says when he prayed, it was 21 days before he received the answer. 21 days Daniel was praying and cried out to God. But you know what? Amen. When the angel finally showed up, amen, when the archangel finally showed up, he said, Daniel, we heard you when you first prayed. Praise God. But he said, I spent 21 days in spiritual warfare fighting the principalities and powers over Persia, amen, in order that you could get the answer. Glory to God. But you know what? Daniel didn't give up. Glory to God. And God ain't gave up on you. Don't you give up on him. He heard your prayer. He know your needs. He know what you're facing. Glory to God. And he will come see about you. Thank you, Father. You are not forsaken. God has not forsaken you. And that's what the enemy would like to have you to believe this morning. Praise God. But you're just getting in position to hear from God. Thank you, Lord. Now, the king realized something was wrong with Nehemiah. He said, Nehemiah, something is troubling you. And he said, why is your countenance sad? He wasn't necessarily asking a question. He was, he, was, he was making an indictment against Nehemiah. He said, why would you come before me with a sad countenance? Because when you serve the king, you, couldn't, you can't go before the king any kind of way. You can't go before the king all toe up and messed up. Because in that day, they thought you had an evil spirit. And they believed, amen, that if an evil spirit was on you and you got in close proximity to me, that what was on you would come on me. So if you served the king, you had to have the right attitude. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why the Bible says when it comes to God, enter his gates with thanksgiving and come into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. You see, as a priest of the living God, you can't come before God sad, amen. You got to come before God saying, Lord, I'm going through some stuff, but this is the day that you have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, Lord, it get a little rough sometimes. But I know you're more than able to do exceedingly abundantly and above all that I can ask or think, Lord God. Oh, Lord, sometimes, Lord, I just want to throw in the towel. But, God, you've been so good to me. You brought me through so much. You brought me out so many times. You healed my body. You, you touched my feet. You turned me around, Lord God. You made ways out of no way. You got to remind them of his word. You got to remind them of his covenant. So I come boldly to the throne of grace. I come boldly in my time of need. Thank you for your help today, Lord God. See, when you come before him, you can't pray the problem. You got to pray the solution. God, I thank you for providing my need. I thank you for taking care of my enemies, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for deliverance in my life, Father. Thank you for saving my children, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for an open door that I need. You are prayer answering God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you're a God of mercy. You're a God of compassion. And I just want to remind you, I know what you've done for me. Amen. And you're not the God. Listen, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you delivered me last year, you're going to bring me out this year. You're the same God. The same God. 
and you're faithful all the time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. I said, thank you, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. You don't have to be sad today. I said, you don't have to be sad today. Tell your neighbor, are you happy today? Amen. Come on, put a smile on your face. Hallelujah. God's got some good things in store for you. Regardless of what the enemy is doing, I want you to know God is able. He's the God of turnaround. Don't mess up this setup. He's setting the church up to get blessed. He's setting you, he's setting you up, saints of God, for the blessing. Amen. You're dealing with the burden, but the blessing is coming. Tell somebody the blessing is coming. The blessing is coming. Get ready for it. The blessing is coming. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Glory to God. Turn some man. Hallelujah. Praise God. You don't, have to, you don't have to be hopeless. You're not helpless. Amen. Thank you, Father. God said, baby, you don't have to come before me sad. He said, lift up your head. Amen. Look up because your redemption draweth not. You can have confidence when you go before the king. Hallelujah. That he will honor you. And he will bless you. And he will open doors for you. Thank you, Lord God. That's good news today. Amen. I said, that's some good news today. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Praise your Father. Praise your Father. Praise your Father. You know, he told him, he said, this is sorrow of heart. He said, you're not sick, it's just sorrow of heart. But you know what sorrow of heart will do? It'll put sickness on you. It'll bring sickness on you. The problem is, amen, the world's walking around, amen, like they have dead and all depressed, amen, and these spirits just get on them, praise God. But see, you as the saints of God, if you'll keep a praise in your mouth, if you'll get rid of murmuring and complaining, and you'll start rejoicing in the Lord, and you'll start glorifying him, sorrow of heart will have to go, baby, and the joy of the Lord will be your strength. I said the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Thank God for joy. Out of all the things I've been through, hallelujah, I said out of all the things that I've been through, I still have joy. Glory to God. What is your joy today? What is your joy today? Hallelujah. The fruit of the Spirit is joy. Unspeakable and full, full of glory. Jesus said this joy that I, you have, amen, the world and give it to you. The world can't take it away. Glory to God. It's down on the inside. Deep down on the inside. There is a river, glory to God, that flows in your belly this morning. Hallelujah. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, it'll lift up a standard, glory to God. You'll begin to rejoice in your trials. Hallelujah. Even though you can't see your way out. Amen. Faith will arise in your heart. And you'll trust God through it. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, it's a holiday weekend. I thought I was going to have the day off. Amen. But y'all came in pulling on me. Glory to God. Y'all done got me going. I'm going up here kicking and sweating and hollering and sweating. Hallelujah. I don't know what's going on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So robo katele bese kotaraba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, offer unto him a sacrifice of praise. Offer unto him a sacrifice of praise. Praise him in your living room. Praise him in your hospital room. Praise him in your jail cell. Amen. Praise him in your hotel room. Wherever you are this morning, give God some praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Father. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Thank you, Father. I said when the praises go up,